Yeah, so got a change of teeth. I got uh, something like 430 hours on them. And I noticed they were uh, they're running a little slow. I got good life out of them. And, uh, so what, what I'm going to do, I, uh, I got the serial number tooth here that I generally start with, so I can just kind of keep track of them. And uh, I'm going to clean up bolts with a screwdriver and hammer and break the bolts. And uh, I generally tap them to loosen the tooth up, makes it easier. Run the bolts out with a old Milwaukee uh, right angle ratchet. And, uh, yeah, then I'll uh, clean the bolts and clean the face and the mount. And um, what I do is I, I, uh, I wire brush the mount and the tooth. And when I put a new set on, I, uh, I grease the bolt. And um, that'll keep it lubed for the, you know, the three, three face, face, faces that I change it over the life of the tooth, so, yeah. So there we go. spins really freely and there's a huge amount of mass involved in it once it moves and I knew a fellow back east that uh, lost a finger changing teeth because he happened to get caught spun it into the into the housing so I treat it with respect when this is running there's a thousand horsepower at the tooth. Now these teeth aren't cutting poorly, um, but the thing is, um, what I notice, I keep an eye when I when I know they're they're older. I keep an eye at the end of the day on my fuel consumption and and also um, recovery time but um, I can tell when the teeth are getting to the point where they, it's worthwhile to change them because I start pushing a little bit higher fuel consumption it gets up you know high nines nine point nine Sometimes, you know, 10.2 or 3, especially if I'm doing a lot of traveling, you know. But uh, that's representative of dull teeth. These cut are, you know, okay, especially in small wood. I wanted to finish this project up with them because it's right away. think that uh, in general, I mean, you know, dull teeth are dull, but uh, older teeth, you can still get good performance out of them, um, particularly in, you know, small or mid-sized wood. It's more a matter of uh, adjusting, your, <laughs> adjusting your feed speed, because that's really the key element, you know, if you Slow that down just a just a hair. You can get really you know good performance out of older teeth. 
And of course, teeth are a cost, so reducing that cost is a good thing. And getting all the life you can out of them through, through careful cutting. And also adjusting your feet so you can get good life out of them. I, I like to get, I feel like if I get anything over 400 hours, I feel is good life. I have gotten consistently more than that, but the thing about it is, it's like when they're dull, it's kind of a fine line, I think, of being dull or being being serviceable and being dull. And when you when they're dull, it's time to change them, regardless, because it starts being hard on the machine, you know, and you're, you're, it slows you down. Too. You got more recovery, lose a lot of RPM, you know, because they're dull, even with reduced speed. speed. It's time to change them. So I've had some questions about from people about what type of tooth I run. So we'll get into that a little later on here. I got some new ones to talk about that a little bit. I'm always curious what other people people are as well. So. Yeah, so like you can see here, the uh, serial number, I always start there just because uh, it gives me something to go by. So I, I like to just kind of do everything kind of one step at a time pretty much. I find that it's kind of easier than not switching tools. So on this tooth, or the, the, the disc, they've got this handy little notch. Looks like a fingernail cut out. You can see that here. And that's designed so you can take one tooth off here, and then that gives you access with an extension. You could run an impact on to take the rest of the teeth out. And I have tried it, and it works pretty well, but uh, I actually, like I said, I kind of, I've got a lot of respect for what this does and the power in it, and so I don't mind, you know, uh, doing it by hand. But I did point that out, because once again, that's an example of uh, Tiger Cat engineering and thought, which I appreciate. So they're all broke. So now I just go around and loosen them up. So I think this is the perfect tool for this. It really, uh, I like it. Fits right in there. Nice and light. Another great Milwaukee tool. Okay, so there we have it.
So like I said, I I, um, I run, I get three faces out of it. And uh, so there, you can see there are four faces on it. So, you know, this is where it was mounted. And um, so this was the cutting face. And so if you think about it, this would be the original face um, when I started. And if you think about it, you know, so um, it take it basically by the time you get to, you know, you've used three faces, the last face, both points have been subject to wear. So I've always found that basically you can get three faces and get good performance and then you're done. It'd be nice to get four, but it's just not realistic. So I guess this would be a good time to talk about these. It, uh, so I've been running um, these Ballantine teeth and uh, they're the B11 333T tooth. And uh, I'm gonna get, uh, so, you know, it's interesting because this is the Quadco. I'm gonna put them up side by side. So this is the Ballantine here, that, you know, B11 333T. And then it's interesting because this is the quad code, this is the Q11333T. It kind of makes me wonder if perhaps Ballantine makes them for quad co. I'm not really sure. But as I understand it, Ballantine's a U.S. company. They've been making, you know, tools for manufacturing for quite a long time. I've been very happy with these teeth, and um, I, I ran quadcos for years. Almost everybody did. I mean, that was kind of the only tooth available, really. And they're certainly a good tooth. Um, we started running these um, on the advice of Mark up at Pape Longview, and uh, um, I've been really happy with them. I've gotten good life out of them, and they are very competitive in terms of price. So, yeah. So here's another tooth that I've been running some too, and this is the uh, the Gator blade, and um, that's a very cool tooth. I mean, and it does work better. The kind of the thought behind it is most people know, but you know, if you're watching this, you probably don't know. So these teeth, if you take your your you know your primary point off. The thought is that these points will be protected and they'll still give it, give you good aggressive action. And I think it does work. Um, so the downside to these is the premium cost. They're, they're quite expensive. And um, my experience has been with them, <laughs> even though I like them a lot, that if you're in rocky ground, and I, I'm in rocky ground quite a bit, um, especially with the salvage where the guff's burned off, the rocks are right on the surface. I find these to be fairly brittle. And um, so this is an example, a fairly minor example, but that's brittleness there. You know, the tooth gets kind of chipped off the point. And the point actually is kind of the primary cutting surface, I think, on these teeth. So. I've experienced that these are fairly brittle, and um, so, you know, I've gotten good life out of them. I guess they're being very expensive and teeth being kind of a wear item. I've got a set now at the shop that I'm just kind of holding in case I get a big block on really creamy ground, you know, and then I'll put these on and away we'll go. So, but, yeah, so, you know, we got the quadcos and the gator teeth. And the Ballantines, and that's what I'm running right now is the Ballantines. That's what's going to go on. And so here's a question to your tooth manufacturers. You know, so <laughs> I've been running a bunch for quite a long time. I've never run a, a, a machine that has less than 18 teeth or at less than 20 teeth, okay? And so this is a good example of 20 teeth on there. So, you know... Teeth come in boxes of 18. I, I just I just don't understand it. Why is that? I, th I think it must be like the size or maybe the weight for shipping or something. But it's a funny thing. You know, it seems like, you know, you have 20 teeth on a bunch or they ought to come in boxes of 20. But okay, whatever. Okay, so what I do now is broken off and um, 
So I'm going to wire brush the, uh, what I call the mating face there. And there's this groove here. I'm not quite sure what it does, but uh, there's definitely a groove at the back. So I try to, you know, make sure that's good and clean. And um, yeah, you can see that groove right there. <laughs> so then I'll pull the bolt and um, kind of clean underneath there and give it a little And then, wire brush. Clean that up. I'll give it a good, good little dab of goo. Doesn't take a whole lot, but I do this every time I change teeth. And, uh, that, it, it lasts for the life of the tooth. Yeah, and then uh, I'm gonna grab a uh, new tooth. And just start that. And move on to the next one. In, in the past, I, I, there was a while where I was using Never Seize on the teeth, and I actually find, found that I didn't like that much. It, it, um, I don't know what it was, but it seemed to like gum up. And uh, I found grease to be really good lubricant to use. It holds up well. It doesn't gum up and make it hard to get off or hard to work with. I think that cleaning this housing out is really important. <laughs> Definitely want these things to be tight. You can hear it clink. You drive her home. And fasteners are, are just so important. Uh, you know, the job they do in this application, you know, it's, uh, you gotta have a lot of respect for them. That's just the handiest tool for this. So nice and light. And obviously it doesn't have a lot of power, but that's why I break them off by hand, you know? It's just a nice light tool. So I'm kind of keeping count here because um, I've got uh, four teeth. I've got a few hours on them. And I had a, uh, I kind of had a failure on teeth, and um, I had to replace four of them on an existing set. And so, what I do when that, something like that happens is um, I'll space them out evenly on the disc. So they're 20 teeth. So what I did was every five teeth, I'd put, you know, I'd. I'd interject those new ones so even though these are really uh in good shape i mean they're basically they just had a few hours on them <clears throat> i'm doing the same thing so every five teeth i'm putting these one of these four on and that way they'll be opposing on the disc the bearing is pretty phenomenal on this
That's the one we're waiting for. Cool. Okay, so now what I do is... Snug them down. There we go, back to the serial numbers. So the last step for me is to torque them down. I am definitely a firm believer in torque and stuff. I call for 300 foot pounds on these and yeah, again when you think about what these uh, these bolts do it um, seems like it's well worth it. That's once. I'll go around again. So, I do pack a set of tooth bolts. These are these are special bolts. <coughs> they, they've got that shoulder inch and a sixteenth head. They're one inch fine thread bolt, and um, I have once. Hopefully, I won't do it again, but I have blown up a set of teeth. Um, I hit a rock. Um, I just couldn't see it, and I just dove, dove into it. You know, I thought I was cutting a tree, but I dove into a rock and blew up a set of teeth and uh, bolts. And this was an old timber jack, so it had inserts, too. And <clears throat> yeah, so... It was not a good deal. Of course, they were practically brand new, too. It always happens like that. So. But anyway, I do pack a set of these bolts in case that happened again, because they'd be hard to find. But I, uh, that's the thing about torque, and I think. These are the original bolts on this machine. I've got over 5,000 hours out of them. And, um, you know, I inspect them every time, you know, and take good care of them, keep them clean, keep them lubed torque them down and uh you know <laughs> if there was ever a problem i certainly would replace them I'm, i'd be happy to but i'm kind of curious to just see how long they're gonna go so <laughs> so far they're holding up fine so i think that's really the beauty of talking serial number again so it's one we want so yeah there you have it new set of teeth ready to go there's nothing like fresh teeth either there's just nothing like it the way they cut so. yeah uh, thanks for watching be safe